So in this uh, video, we're going to try to explain how you can convert between a mass and chemical amount, and then chemical amount and mass. And um, in this question, it's saying calcium carbonate helps to neutralize acidic soil under spruce trees. So that's some context. Convert a mass of 100 or 1,500 grams of calcium carbonate to a chemical amount. So the mass of calcium carbonate is going to be 1,500 grams. And the molar mass of calcium carbonate, which is made of one calcium, one carbon, and three oxygens, is 100.09 gram per mole. Um, if you're not sure how to calculate that, there's a video that helps to explain how you calculate molar masses. Now this value is a relationship. So for calcium carbonate, 100.09 grams is for one mole of calcium carbonate. So they're equivalent. So we can use them as a conversion factor. So one of our ways of calculating the chemical amount is to convert the grams into mole using a conversion factor using this relationship. So the number of moles of calcium carbonate is going to equal 1500 gram times. Well, I want grams in the denominator and mole in the numerator because that's going to cancel out my grams. One mole is 1500 or pardon, is 100 0.09 grams. So 1500 times 1 divided by 100.09 grams will give me my moles. So 1500 divided by 100.09 gives me 14.9865. This has four sig digs, so this should realistically have four sig digs as well. Um, and it's going to be 14.99 mole of calcium carbonate. That's one way of calculating it. There's also a formula where N, the chemical amount, equals the mass over the molar mass. And so this formula will also yield the same answer, and it's essentially the same kind of math that we're looking at here, where the number of moles of calcium carbonate equals the mass of calcium carbonate divided by its molar mass. So it's going to be... Um, 1500 grams, because that's a sample of calcium carbonate, divided by the molar mass of sodium carbonate, and it's going to give you the same number. So we give you 14.99 mole. And either one is acceptable in my class. Some teachers have a strong preference. This is a way, um, if you can use a conversion factor and do more of your calculations by a conversion factor, you're less likely to propagate errors throughout your. Uh, questions later on, but um, for, for the purpose of chem chemistry 20, this is just perfectly fine. But this is arguably maybe the worst sounding formula ever, where n equals m over m. It's just, it's not super memorable. Um, but it is used so frequently that you should be able to re remember it. 